Well, it is time to move your body ahead of the weekend. And when it comes to body weight exercises, they are a great way to focus on form and strengthen and also tone the muscles for of the upper body by increasing your range of motion, flexibility, and joint mobility. Now, typically a hit style workout focuses on your lower body, but with ample jumping moves, we are now going to put that same spotlight on our upper body and isolate it for some interval training too. And here to show us exactly how this can be done is fitness trainer Paul Jordan. Should I be nervous on a scale of one to 10? Honestly, I'll give it like a seven, eight. Okay. But we're, I'm gonna I'm gonna briefly take you through every exercise, show you how to perform it, and then I'm gonna analyze your your body's response to the exercises. If I feel like we can up the intensity with a bit, we'll I do will. That. Okay. But we we'll obviously take it as it comes. Okay. okay. So what we'll do is I'm gonna I'm gonna give uh, the audience five exercises that, that they can perform from home, and then every exercise is gonna be for a minute. Um, you're gonna keep repeating those for about two to three sets and then take a five minute rest break and that's basically going to be your session for about 30 to 45 minutes. Okay. Yeah, but without wasting time, let's get into it. All right, so we're going to start in a push-up position. All right, now you can start on your knees. I'm going to start on my toes. So the idea of this exercise is going to be a compound exercise, but you can start on your knees. It's going to be a push-up and then mountain climber. Okay. Mountain climber, yes. Okay, okay, now with everyone, with every push-up, you can add one more. Okay, okay. so then, extra well, mountain extra, climber. Extra mountain climber. Not an extra, extra push-up. Push no, you can, if you can, you can do an extra one. Okay, so which muscles are we focusing on here? All right, so with this exercise, you're going to be targeting your front deltoid. You're going to be targeting your chest, triceps, and obviously with the mountain climbers, you're going to be targeting your entire mid-core section. All right. Now with the second one, almost the same, same position, so same push up, and then toe tap. Yes, there we go. So that is basically, it's a similar exercise, obviously it's gonna hit the same muscle groups, and then with, with, the, with the toe taps, you're gonna be hitting the side, your obliques. Your obliques, right. okay. All right. So now on to the third one. I'm right. always so impressed when you can hold your breath steady because the whole point of a hit session is to get you a little bit out of breath. Yes, yes. <laughs> so, so this is basically just to perform it. But like the idea of all of these exercises is just to keep it, keep, keep, keep running them for about 10 to 15 reps. And then as soon as you're done with that exercise, you immediately hit the next exercise. You're gonna be doing that for about five to 10 minutes. So okay. Just showing the, the audience on how to do it. All right, for the next one, in a plank movement, so it's basically gonna be here. Up into a bear position, shoulder tap, shoulder tap, and then back. Down on plank, up, bear, shoulder tap, shoulder tap. Good. You can see this is a movement you're enjoying a little bit more. <laughs> All right, so that is gonna be your third exercise. All right, so we can move over to our next one. Let's put our little bottle here. You can put any little marker here. <laughs> yeah, the bigger the bottle, well, the bigger the bottle or the marker, the better, of course. Okay. All right, so this next one, gonna target the abs again. So up and down. Now, you can extend your core to get that extra extension by crunching up and going down. Good. And this is a great way to just Target the core. Exactly. There we go. So that is going to be the four, the four main exercises for your upper body. And then the last one that I will include is basically just the Superman's legs on the ground, arms up and down. Up and down. And the Superman's, these target? Your lower back. And if you lift your legs, if you keep your arms on the ground and you lift your legs, your, 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 your legs up, you will feel it in your glutes. Okay. Right, so you can alternate between those two, but the idea is basically just to hit your lower back and your glutes. And it's so important to strengthen your lower back. I've realized exactly. now how bad my posture has become. Exactly, and then like, you, 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 get, you get so stiff at the end of the day and actually impacts all of your movements without even knowing, well, all of your movements in the gym without sometimes not even knowing it, right? Yeah. So, right, you want to take it, you're going to run it again. 
Um, no, no, no. I think we are good. <laughs> You've given us a great overview. I love the push-ups, but also merging the various yes. movements. So we started off with push-ups and mountain climbers, yeah. push-ups and toe touches. We did the obliques lifts. We did yes. the, the mountain climbers. And basically, this is literally everything from from the middle up, right? So the best way to base, the best way to run this is to include some cardio in and just to keep that intensity going for about 15 to 30 minutes. And get the heart rate right up. Well, Paul Yordan, thank you for joining us there today. And I hope you enjoyed this workout. The whole idea of a full body workout, whether we are focusing at the upper body or lower body, is just to get you moving. And we hope you did that.